The James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, has again revealed a breathtaking cosmic secret, this time photographing an explosive and violent event occurring in the farthest reaches of our solar system. In a show of planetary theater that few astronomers had ever dared dream of seeing in real time, Webb caught a colossal collision between Neptune, the enigmatic ice giant that orbits nearly 4.5 billion kilometers from our planet. This first ever observation is among the most remarkable in the field of planetary science and represents a milestone for our appreciation of the solar system as a dynamic, and occasionally deadly, place. The uniqueness of this event lies not only in the impact itself, but in how well defined it was captured. This was not some vague visual anomaly or mysterious surge in data, this was a cosmic impact recorded in high-resolution infrared images. Web sensors picked up on turbulence in Neptune's upper atmosphere, visible shock waves radiating outward, and notable heat anomalies emanating from the impact site. The data unmistakably indicated that something huge had forcibly collided with the ice giant. For planetary scientists used to depending on modeling and remote sensing, this was nothing less than astounding. Neptune, for all its gigantic size, some 17 times that of Earth, is usually a troublesome planet to see. Its vast distance and thick stacks of methane clouds render it a dim target even to the world's best telescopes on the ground. Earlier missions, such as Voyager 2's flyby in 1989, gave tantalizing tastes of its stormy weather patterns and deep blue loveliness, but much of the world was still in the dark. That changed with JWST. At the second Lagrange point, L2, far beyond the Earth and Moon, Webb's unrivaled sensitivity in the infrared range allows it to look past Neptune's atmospheric shrouds with unprecedented precision. So, what struck Neptune? That question is under intensive study. From the thermal bloom, cloud disruption, and Webb spectrographic observations, the scientists estimate the impactor was a large object, perhaps a giant Kuiper Belt object, an unrecoverable asteroid, or even an ice moon that had been pushed out of its orbit. However it came about, it must have been traveling at astonishing speeds to penetrate Neptune's dense atmosphere. The resulting energy release was gigantic, put at the equivalent of detonating thousands of nuclear warheads. It ravaged the top layers of Neptune's atmosphere, producing visible turbulence and creating shock waves still observed several hours later. The event marks a new book in our knowledge of outer solar system dynamics. In contrast to Jupiter, which has produced several visible effects, most notably the 1994 collision of comet Shoemaker-Levy 9, Neptune has remained comparatively isolated from our view. Not for a lack of activity, but due to its distance and observational constraints. Webb's innovation enables us to see, for the first time in real time, a giant planetary collision on an observationally unapproachable world. The consequences are immense, both from the perspective of atmospheric science and planetary history. Webb after the impact recorded the accelerated development of massive storm systems around the impact zone. They manifested as gigantic vortices in the atmosphere, coiling structures similar to hypercharged hurricanes on Earth. Whirling with methane-helium gases and infused with strange thermal emanations, the cyclonic system started migrating from Neptune's equatorial zone towards its poles. Researchers have already compared these disruptions with the Great Dark Spot, a giant storm seen by Voyager 2, which suddenly appeared without warning and somehow vanished without explanation. While being monitored by Webb in near-continuous observation, scientists can follow the life cycle of these systems, whether they fade away, remain steady, or merge into long-lived atmospheric features. The finding also highlights how violent the solar system's outer boundary is. Though we usually imagine great gapes between planets as being peaceful places, they are actually full of icy bodies, stray rocks, and ancient fragments from the violent formation of the solar system. Neptune's orbit puts it close to the Kuiper Belt, an area dense with millions of small, icy bodies that can be threats not only to the gas giants but, perhaps, to the inner planets as well. The fact that Neptune is still vulnerable to being hit by a body of such size reignites the debate regarding the size and activity of large bodies hiding in these outer reaches. This has immediate implications for planetary defense. If a planet as heavy and far away as Neptune can be hit by an object in motion so powerful as to disrupt its weather patterns and magnetosphere, then Earth is not immune. In fact, 
Webb's capacity to see the heat signature and atmospheric disturbance from billions of kilometers away implies that the same surveillance could be used to scan for incoming threats to our planet. As our technological expanse grows, our ability to predict and prepare for such events must grow with it. Even more fascinating is Neptune's active response to the impact. Webb captured immediate and far-reaching alterations in the atmospheric structure of the planet. Methane clouds at high altitudes dissipated and then reassembled into new patterns. This indicated that Neptune's already extreme weather had been jolted by the collision. Scientists detected rearrangements of jet streams and cloud bands, presumably due to the sudden infusions of kinetic energy into the atmosphere. Such occurrences can provide a window into the means by which giant planets shed energy and bounce back from catastrophic disruptions. Information that can also be used to make models of exoplanetary atmospheres. Aside from weather and impact physics, Webb's observations revealed Neptune's magnetic environment to be disturbed. The gas giant boasts one of the solar system's most unusual magnetic fields. It's strongly tilted and well off-center from its rotation axis. Webb detected anomalies in auroral activity near Neptune's poles which indicated that the collision could have produced enough charged particles to temporarily change the interaction of the magnetic field with the solar wind. If confirmed, it would be the first time that a collision of a planet was found to influence a gas giant's magnetosphere in real time. This might bring significant insights into how the magnetic fields of planets develop and react to stimuli from outside. For a variety of reasons, this encounter has revived scientific curiosity about Neptune, a planet long on the periphery of our observational abilities. For decades, Neptune was a remote mystery, a stunning but neglected solar system member. Thanks to Webb, that is no longer the case. No longer is Neptune a frozen, stationary globe adrift in space. Now it is interpreted as an active, developing world, a world that speaks of collisions, atmospheric drama, and intricate interactions with the world around it. This collision also lends weight to earlier hypotheses regarding the role Neptune played in the formation of the solar system. Many astronomers believe Neptune migrated outward early in its history, disturbing the orbits of other planets and shaping the distribution of objects in the Kuiper Belt. A present-day impact from a scattered disk object, an icy body originating from far beyond Neptune, would support this idea and provide direct evidence of Neptune's gravitational influence extending deep into the outer solar system. Webb's observation of the heat trail of the impactor and its path is assisting scientists in tracing it back to its source, with initial estimates implying it could have been pulled in from a very eccentric orbit well beyond even the Kuiper Belt. That makes this impact not only a spectacular cosmic event, but also a time capsule. A frozen ambassador from the early solar system holding secrets for an era when planets were still in the process of formation and migration. Webb spectroscopic instruments detected abrupt chemical bursts in the impact zone, the spikes of ethane, hydrogen cyanide, acetylene, molecules that condense under the conditions of pressure and temperature found only in the deep solar system. The observations indicate the impact either brought exotic material from the deep solar system or initiated reactions in Neptune's atmosphere never before able to be seen by scientists. Such chemistry is not easily reproducible on Earth, so this is a highly valuable data set for planetary scientists and astrochemists alike. And so, as the sheen of the impact recedes, the scientific interest in the event only grows. Webb continues to track Neptune's evolving changes in atmosphere, tracing developments in new storm systems and charting changes in thermal and magnetic activity. Each packet of data transmitted back is a piece of the puzzle in the grand jigsaw of Neptune history and, by association, the history of the solar system. For researchers, it's the stuff of dreams, an exceptionally unusual chance to observe, in real time, the collision between a giant impactor and gas giant world. This encounter has also mobilized public attention, putting Neptune and the outer solar system in the news as it hasn't been since Voyager 2's fleeting encounter more than three decades ago. It underscores the merit of space telescopes such as JWST, not just for gazing into distant galaxies and bygone starlight, but also for keeping an eye on our own cosmic neighborhood. We sometimes tend to forget that the solar system is still an active and volatile environment. Webb's discovery serves to remind us that planetary change is not exclusively something that occurs on geological timescales. 
Sometimes it occurs in real time, and if we're fortunate and technologically equipped to witness it. As the data are further studied by scientists, models of Neptune's atmosphere, internal dynamics, and magnetism are being updated. Plans for future missions to the ice giants can be brought forward. Some are advocating a dedicated Neptune orbiter with instruments specifically tailored to address impact, weather, and magnetic anomaly research. This collision could quite possibly be the push needed to get such missions funded and developed. And so, in the end, Neptune emerged from the shadows. Courtesy of the James Webb Space Telescope, it now stands not as a forgotten border, but as a living, breathing member of the ongoing saga of the solar system. Its tale is one of veiled violence and unspoken transformation, a story billions of years in the creation, now told in rich detail at last.